UK to invest $88 million in America's mega science project. The Brits this week pledged to make it rain on a US government mega science project that could change the world. The Deep Underground Neutrino Experiment, also known as DUNE, begins at the Long Baseline Neutrino Facility at the Fermilab in Illinois. It ends 800 miles away at the Sanford Underground Research Facility in South Dakota. The UK pledged an $88 million investment toward the yet-to-be-completed project. When finished, it'll produce the world's highest intensity neutrino beam using the Fermilab's proton accelerator. This beam will travel westward through the Earth's mantle to South Dakota where scientists will gather data on the neutrino particles. Scientists believe the DOOM project could lead to a deeper understanding of these weightless subatomic particles and how the universe came to be. Or, you know, they might actually make Flash or the Atom. Keep watching for more mega projects. Mex Loop Hyperloop design could connect 42 million people. Need to get to Mexico City from Guadalajara in a hurry? Mex Loop Hyperloop may be able to help out. Mexican consortium MexLoop is proposing a 330-mile hyperloop system that would connect four cities in central Mexico, Mexico City, Coelatalo, León, and Guadalajara. The trip would take about 38 minutes compared to the current six hours it now takes to drive between the two cities. Stations would be located close to airports, rail freight hubs, and train stations in order to maximize transportation infrastructure efficiency. According to MexLoop, a hyperloop system would only be two-thirds of the cost of a high-speed rail system. MexLoop's proposed system would provide a more efficient transportation system for 42 million people. The consortium also says building the Hyperloop would help boost the economy as well as ease traffic congestion. Amazon's plans for a second headquarters sparks bidding frenzy. Billionaire businessman and owner Jeff Bezos wants to make it rain billions on a city near you. Amazon has announced it was looking to build a second headquarters in North America, setting up a bidding war amongst U.S. states and Canadian provinces. The online retailer will reportedly spend north of $5 billion US dollars on the project that could employ up to 50,000 people over two decades. Potential American cities for Amazon's so-called HQ2 include Los Angeles, San Francisco, Salt Lake City, Austin, Dallas, Denver, Detroit, Memphis, Atlanta, Baltimore, Boston, Washington, D.C., and New York. North of the border in Canada, Toronto, and Vancouver are reportedly in the running as well. Ultimately, it's up to Amazon to pick a place, but we're sure wherever they select will be some prime real estate. Big data is getting bigger. A U.S.-Norwegian company is planning to build what they say will be the world's biggest green data center. The Kolos data center is slated to be built within the Arctic Circle in northern Norway. The center will be fully powered by sustainable hydropower and wind energy. Kolos claims green energy combined with the cool climate will lead to a 60% reduction in energy costs. The site will eventually cover a total of 600,000 square meters. The data center will initially draw on 70 megawatts of power, which is scheduled to rise to 1,000 megawatts within a decade. The planned size of the Kolos facility would make it larger than a data center in Langfang, China, that is currently the world's biggest. However, it won't be as big as the Switch Citadel campus in Nevada, which is still in development and will eventually be the largest data center in the world at more than 668,000 square meters. South Korea and Egypt are building an agricultural city in the desert. Two unlikely partners are in a scientific collaboration that could see a desert turn green within the next half year. South Korea and Egypt are teaming up to build an agricultural city in the North African nation's Katara Depression sinkhole. The six-month, $10 billion project will see 50,000 greenhouses constructed by Egyptian workers and managed by Korean experts. Several solar and desalinization plants are expected to be built at the site. The project will also see an attempt to produce food and the sugar alternative stevia. If the plan is successful, it could be seen as a model for future anti-desertification projects.